Hello from everybody uh, from Zagreb. Um, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation to participate in so interesting conference. Um, my my name is Tatiana Sipovic, law professor on the land, and the land register law. Uh, today I will talk about acquisition of agricultural land by foreigners uh, and family agricultural holdings in Croatia. Uh, my presentation is divided in five parts. Uh, first of all, I will say something about some statistical data uh, about agricultural production in Croatia, and then about legal sources um, and uh, regulating uh, agricultural land, about the acquisition of agricultural land by foreigners and about family agricultural holdings. On the end, I will express some of my thoughts about perspectives of developing of agricultural land. Uh, so, as you can see in Croatia, uh, there are different uh, uh, data about agricultural land and agricultural productions. Unfortunately, in the last four, few years, uh, we can see that there is a less number of employees in uh, uh, agricultural food sector and also that in the uh, last few years, uh, there is uh, also a, a higher income income uh, in compare, for example, in 2014 in agricultural sector. Uh, Croatian agricultural economic accounts are mostly based on production in cereals and industrial crops um, and of uh, in wine and cattle. Uh, that what is very important to be stressed when we are talking about agricultural land in Croatia is that one third of the whole agricultural land uh, is owned by state. In fact, uh, uh, the almost all agricultural land that was uh, in socialist time uh, socially owned um, was transformed to um, state-owned agricultural land. And we are still in transition and privatization process uh, from state-owned agricultural land to private-owned uh, owned agricultural land. This is one of the, I would say, the biggest problem in Croatia. And uh, we change our agricultural land act very often for, uh, in last, uh, let's say, 30 years. Uh, we. Um, changed our Agricultural Land Act and we, we in fact, uh, uh, published the new act uh, every 10 or 5 years and the mostly uh, because of trying to find uh, the proper way how to dispose with socially owned land. Agricultural Land Act is mostly uh, uh, concentrate uh, on uh, management of agricultural land owned by Republic of Croatia. There are all some uh, regulations about maintenance, protection, use of agricultural land, but mostly I would say that we are still in search uh, for a proper way how to dispose uh, with uh, agricultural land owned by Republic of Croatia. Uh, the very important source of agricultural law is Agricultural Act. Uh, and from 2018, uh, we have a special act on family agricultural holdings. I will talk about uh, this kind of agricultural holdings in my second part of my presentation. Uh, subsidiary uh, acts are Property Act and Land, land Registration Act. In Republic of Croatia, uh, agricultural land is resource of the special interest of the Republic of Croatia and enjoys its special protection. It is already, uh, already proclaimed in the uh, Constitution, uh, but we have also the special rules uh, in Agricultural Land Act. Uh, these rules are very important because this is the ground for uh, all restrictions, uh, legislative restrictions, law restrictions uh, regulated for uh, agricultural land, for use, 
laws of agricultural land and this um, proclamation of agricultural land as resource of interest of the Republic of Croatia is ground for regulation of, for example, obligation to maintain the agricultural land in good condition, uh, to uh, obligation to cultivate agricultural land, uh, obligation to pay a special fee in a case of changing um, agricultural use uh, for some non-agricultural uses and it is also um, a ground for sequestration of uh, land, uh, uh, agricultural land in a case that uh, owner do not, uh, doesn't not fulfill all these obligations and uh, also there are uh, special rules on specific uh, fines in a case that somebody is not fulfilling all these, uh, uh, does not fulfill all these obligations regulated by law. Uh, concerning the acquisition of agricultural land by foreigners, uh, first of all, I have to say that there is no differences between physical persons, nationals and legal persons. So uh, it means that um, in principle, uh, EU nationals uh, and legal persons and also national and legal persons uh, from third states have, have the equal treatment in real property transactions so they, they can acquire all real property rights uh, except ownership. Uh, in the moment for EU nationals and legal persons we have temporary exclusion for agricultural land uh, and uh, uh, till 2023, there is a special exclusion for acquiring prohibition for acquisition of ownership, but only by contract. So it is possible uh, to acquire um, agricultural land by inheriting. Uh, for nationals and legal persons from third states, uh, we have in Agricultural Land Act uh, exclusion for acquisition of ownership, so it means that nationals and legal persons from third states um, cannot acquire uh, ownership on uh, agricultural land. Uh, it is only possible to acquire ownership on agricultural land by inheriting. Uh, concerning inheriting uh, of agricultural land, there is no uh, uh, special uh, rules. Uh, for acquiring agricultural land, so we apply the general succession rules for uh, uh, acquiring ownership by inheriting. Um, we, uh, during our accession uh, procedure and negotiations for accession to the EU, uh, we uh, um, negotiated uh, with EU about a uh, transitional period for um, agricultural land and in our accession treaty uh, for the first there was uh, agreed a seven years uh, transitional period but that what is important to say this um, uh, transitional period was only agreed in the frame of free movement of capital so not in the free movement of um, uh, other, for example, uh, freedom to provide uh, services or uh, freedom to, for establishment. And it means that we uh, still have these rules and uh, this year in June, Commission decided to extend this transitional period uh, for next three years to till uh, 2023. Uh, the main uh, rule uh, in accession treaty in this transitional rule is that it is not possible to uh, introduce some new restrictions for um, uh, naturals, uh, nationals and EU legal persons and that we have to ensure the um, the same uh, uh, treatment as for um, uh, it is not possible to uh, introduce during this uh, uh, it is now already uh, 10 years uh, transitional period less favorable treatment for nationals and uh, legal persons from eu but that what is also very important to stress that for self-employed farmers 
uh, from EU uh, that want to establish themselves in Croatia and to buy agricultural land, there is no restrictions. In fact, they have the equal pre uh, treatment as uh, Croatian nationals and uh, legal persons. Uh, there are a lot of reasons for extension of a transitional period. Uh, first of all, the Commission uh, stressed that there are a lot of small family farms and that agricultural land uh, holdings are very fragmented uh, and that this is one of the main factors for limiting the development of Croatian agricultural sector. Uh, then the problem uh, is also lower productivity of Croatian farmers and the need uh, uh, to implement some new and some very important projects concerning agricultural land uh, such as, as I already said, privatization and restitution of land, regulation of property rights. We still have a lot of problems with land register, with registering the um, uh, agricultural land. Uh, so, and to um, uh, continue, uh, some uh, spe uh, also the mines are the problem because of a war in the 90s. Um, during our accession uh, procedure, we also um, uh, agreed about the change of a treaty of the functioning, amendment, in fact, the treaty of the functioning of the EU Union, European Union, concerning uh, the third uh, state. So, as you can see, uh, there is a general rule in Article uh, 63 that any restriction um, on the movement of capital between member states, but also between member states and third countries are prohibited. But in Article 64, uh, there is a special rule uh, for restrictions between uh, member states and third countries. Uh, and in the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union, there is a special date. Um, general uh, rule is that it is the end of December uh, 93, uh, after which date it is prohibited to introduce new restrictions uh, for uh, third countries, third states. Uh, for Croatia, we agreed that relevant date uh, is uh, uh, December 2002, uh, it was very important in our negotiation process to fix another date, for example, for Hungary is the end of 99, uh, because um, at that date we had uh, some specific rules uh, about forest land that is also prohibited to be acquired by um, nationals from third countries. And we wanted to keep these rules in our national legislation. And because of that, it was important to uh, negotiate about specific date in Article uh, 64. Concerning family agricultural holdings, uh, first of all, I would like to show you some statistics that uh, in the moment, in 2019, altogether we have uh, 170,662 family uh, agricultural holdings, not only family holdings, but all um, registered agricultural holdings. Um, and from uh, it is also important to show that when we are talking about uh, persons employed in uh, different legal entities in agricultural land, you can see that mostly these are men. So uh, around 30% um, of all uh, persons employed in agriculture uh, are women, uh, so one third. Uh, from this number uh, of uh, total agricultural um, holdings, 95% uh, uh, are family agricultural holdings. So it means that these are uh, family agricultural holdings are dominant form structure of uh, <clears throat> agricultural production in Croatia. Uh, family agricultural holdings are regulated by special law, Family Agricultural Holdings Act from 2018. And I may say that we are still in transformation of um, 
formal forms of family agricultural holdings to the new form regulated by act that is uh, old only two years so uh, the family agricultural holding is defined as organizational form of agriculture operation um, based uh, uh, on uh, farmer as natural person who independently and permanently performs family, uh, farming activities and linked activities. Um, he has to use his own land or leased agricultural productive assets and the work of this agriculture holding is based on work, knowledge and skills of the ho household members. A holder of family agricultural holding is elected by members of uh, holding. Uh, he is representative of the holding. He is the holder of rights and obligations. Uh, and he, uh, he is responsible for all obligations by his or her whole property. Uh, and he is a, uh, he's the manager of uh, the holding. Uh, the holder uh, of agriculture holdings has to be situated in Croatia or it is possible to be situated in other member states but to uh, has right to use the agricultural asset in Croatia. It means to uh, be the owner of the agricultural land or to uh, have the right to lease agricultural land. Uh, there is a special register of family agricultural holdings uh, kept by paying agency for agriculture, fisheries and rural development. Uh, family household, uh, members of family household uh, can be spouses, unregistered per, uh, partners, same-sex uh, partners, their children, other persons who live together in the same household earn income and spend it together. They have to be uh, older than 18 years and to have legal capacity. And there is also a special rule on family members. Uh, the family members of the of a household uh, can be also spouse, unregistered partner, same sex partner, children, parents, grandparents, grandchildren, so it's very, very uh, big number of, of uh, people who can be family members, also brothers and sisters, their spouses, uh, spouses, parents, adoptees, and so on. There are also a special rule on cessation of family agricultural holding. Uh, the cessation, uh, the base for cessation can be decision of a family agricultural holding. Uh, then also it can be a destruction of the assets um, and the death of holder in a case that members uh, of the holding or family members do not decide to continue the farming activities. As I already said, there are not special rules on succession of uh, family agricultural holding. It is also possible to transfer uh, the holding uh, again uh, uh, just to change the family uh, agricultural holding holder and there are also some specific uh, rules about the death of uh, holder uh, so as i already said on accession uh, on succession uh, the general rules of succession regulations um, are applied uh, and then family members can decide to continue uh, the farming activities. They have to uh, decide about uh, to decide to continue the family uh, farming activities and to appoint the new uh, uh, family holder. Uh, and in the case of the change of family order, it is uh, expressly regulated that. Uh, uh, by change of family uh, holder, all rights and obligations are trans uh, transferred to the new uh, holder of the agricultural uh, holding and also uh, that all labor contracts uh, are also transferred uh, uh, to a new uh, family uh, holder of uh, uh, holdings. 
Uh, in the practice, I would say that there is uh, uh, some problems when we are talking about agricultural holdings. Um, and this is very similar to what we were already discussing uh, today. Uh, first of all, the areas of the holdings are very small. As you can see, almost 70% of all agricultural holdings have area less than 5 hectares. And the income of uh, um, agricultural holding is almost for 46% less than 4,000 euros. And I think that uh, the problem is also the age of the holder. Uh, in many cases, the, in, in one third of for all uh, agricultural holdings, the holder is older than 60 years. Uh, and in uh, 28, almost 28 uh, percent, the holder is older than uh, 55 percent. It means that um, in the moment there is no uh, special interest for young people to stay on agricultural land uh, and to, uh, to uh, in fact, to develop agricultural activities. It is also visible from this data that there are not a lot of um, non-members, non-family labor force in um, agricultural holdings. It means that agri the work uh, and function of agricultural holdings are mostly based on uh, family members. So, what are the perspectives? I think that uh, uh, in Croatia uh, we should uh, take more um, uh, discussions how to make a balance between the protection of agricultural land and some restrictions concerning agricultural land and protection of domestic agricultural pro uh, production on one side and uh, on the other side, uh, uh, how to make the better investment in agriculture, how to uh, develop commercial activities in agriculture. So I think that we uh, still have a lot of problems, uh, especially when we are talking about agriculture holdings. Uh, one of the problem is still, uh, as, uh, as we already stressed today a very high level of fragmentation of land and there are also a lot of problems with harmonization uh, of uh, information and data on the uh, land agricultural land ownership in land register um, i think that very important for development of family agricultural holdings uh, is um, uh, how the national support measures in agriculture are organized. Uh, these measures are uh, supported by European Agricultural Fund for Rural Development. Uh, as you can see, uh, concerning the total budget by country uh, from this fund, uh, Croatia is somewhere in the middle. Uh, in uh, 2019, um, 2.3 uh, million euros are uh, planned for national support measures and um, from this assume uh, 2,000 uh, million euros are from European funds. Um, I think that uh, the, 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 it is also perhaps important to uh, discuss uh, how these measures are applied and it seems to me that sometimes it is also very complicated to apply for all these um, measures and that uh, family holdings very often uh, need a specific help uh, to fulfill all requirements important for uh, national measures. Thank you very much for your uh, attention. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for your presentation, Professor. Uh, and my question is, uh, do you have any uh, remarks, questions connected to the presentation, Professor Josipovic? No. 
Yes, I have two little questions, if I can. Um, dear Tatiana Ospic, uh, I want to ask if, if I know correctly that in Croatia there is no restriction of size of land to one hand, in one hand, if you understand it, the maximum size of land plot. And uh, as I know, when you sell the uh, land plot in Croatia, you may pay the tax, I mean, if I know, 5% from the price of the land and uh, i uh, i want to ask is it true or i am mistaken thanks uh, thank you very much for your uh, questions no there is no limit of, of size of agricultural plot uh, not for uh, natural person nor for legal persons uh, I think that, uh, if I just may say, uh, we had some rules in socialist time uh, for the land maximum. And in many cases now we have, because of that, the problems, because, uh, uh, especially after succession, that a lot of uh, ownership, land ownership, was not entered in land register because of these rights. Uh, these rules that it was not possible to own uh, land uh, over some maximum. And concerning uh, tax, in the moment, uh, the uh, uh, it's four uh, percent for transferring the land. And uh, there is also no specific rule only for agricultural land. It is the same rule for all uh, uh, kinds, all kinds of land. Uh, but in some cases, when, for example, a land uh, or real estate, any real estate is uh, uh, donated to, uh, um, for example, to, to children, then uh, it's, there is no obligation to pay the tax. So there are some um, exceptions for uh, tax pay um, uh, uh, obligations for some uh, transfers between families. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for your response. Uh, any others? Uh, if I may, I, I would like to ask, um, do you have any programs for, for young farmers that could, um, uh, that could encourage them to, 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 uh, to manage the, uh, the agricultural holdings? And the funds from from EO that 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 uh, that can make a difference that that can uh, encourage young people to stay at uh, at the land. Uh, yes, there is a lot of uh, programs, national support programs uh, supported by EU, also for young farmers. But uh, my impression is that still. Uh, in many areas uh, very rich with agricultural land, uh, young people are not interested in staying on land and uh, uh, dealing with, with agricultural activities. In the moment, it seems to me that it is not so attractive for young people. But there are, there are okay. programs and there are, of course, some, um, uh, in, some very, very, uh, uh, some holdings with young people who are very success, but, uh, successful, but uh, in principle, I would say that it is a very big problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, any remarks, questions? In this case, I have only one remarks. Some years ago, I, uh, I have compared, uh, you know, the transitional period rules, the new uh, members. What does it mean, new member states? Me, it uh, it meant, you know, member states um, access to the EU in 2004 or 2007 or 2013, yeah. and it was actually interesting that uh, uh, that uh, beside Hungary. I have uh, uh, I have found uh, special rules referring to the legal persons only in Croatia. Therefore, in your transitional period rules, you know, in the accession treaty, there were mentioned legal persons. Uh, 
um, yeah, it was interesting, you know, this uh, uh, this uh, this importance for you, uh, this aspect beside Hungary. <laughs> uh, um, but, do you have some uh, uh, comment to this um, significance of this uh, of this uh, part of the regulation? Uh, so, uh, during our negotiation process, uh, we uh, negotiated, so it was the problem, it was the problem during the negotiated process because in our former rules on acquiring uh, real estate, not only agricultural land, there were a specific rule f rules for legal persons. And uh, we uh, had to change all these rules because of uh, free movement of capital, and we have to abolish all restrictions uh, for uh, foreigners. And something that is also perhaps very uh, interesting, um, still uh, for for foreigners from non-EU country, uh, uh, the the preconditions for acquisition uh, of land. Uh, not agricultural land because it is prohibited to be acquired by non-EU uh, um, uh, nationals. Uh, there is a rule that um, uh, uh, the, the acquirer has to have uh, a special consent of a Ministry of uh, uh, Justice and that without this consent uh, the contract is null and void. Agreement is null and void without this, con uh, this um consent and during the negotiation process we realized that, that there there was a lot of agreements uh, concluded between uh, eu nationals and uh, uh, domestic persons for selling the land and that all these agreements without consent uh, were uh, null and void and uh, then in in this procedure of harmonization of our EU, our rules with EU rules, uh, we introduced a specific uh, rule that all these um, agreements already concluded before accession uh, are treated as valid agreements. So we, uh, in fact, introduced a special rule on convalidation of all uh, old agreements concluded uh, be, uh, before succession uh, uh, for EU member, EU, EU nationals and EU uh, legal persons. So we wanted to make no discrimination, not only in future, but also for the past, retroactive for all uh, transactions between domestic persons and EU nationals uh, concluded before the accession. And the problem was also that Thank we had to your... our, our rules on um, acquisition of real property uh, before the accession, because, uh, because of our stabilization agreement, uh, we had some obligations to, to introduce non-discriminatory rules already before the accession. So we apply all these non-discriminatory rules from 2008, although we are member from 2013.